Did you know that the American Medical Association, the American College of Physicians, and the HHS have recognized voting as a key social determinant of health? Let's talk about the intersection of healthcare and civic engagement through the lens of this recently published article, We Want You, Doctor, to Help Get Out the Vote, by the writers at Vote ER. Vote ER develops nonpartisan civic engagement tools and programs for every corner of the healthcare system. The recently published nationwide study found that in the 2020 election, over 12,000 patients throughout their network of sites voted, which represents a younger and more racially and ethnically diverse demographic. One thing is blatantly clear. Voting in elections determines the types of communities we live in. And in order to create healthier communities for ourselves, voting is the only answer. So let's get into the few pointers the writers offer to guide hospital, clinics, and healthcare professionals in our fight to generate more civic engagement in healthcare. Firstly, nonpartisanship and agency are two foundational pillars for creating healthcare-based voting engagement efforts. Vote ER recommends leveraging TurboVote, which provides consistent nonpartisan election reminders and points voters directly to registration resources. Two, Considering civic health holidays that celebrate voting, like Civic Health Month, where doctors can ask patients about their voter status, or National Voter Registration Day to check on the voter status of our staff. And three, incorporating tools that fit seamlessly into clinic and hospital culture. For example, adding voter registration questions into EPIC, training Medicare enrollment navigators to offer voter registration resources, and even involving medical students and residents into civic engagement campaigns. In the 2020 election, one third of eligible Americans did not vote because they simply found it difficult to register. And 83% of Americans regularly visit a healthcare professional. Why not integrate civic engagement into the hands of professionals whom we trust most and encourage patients to vote like their health depends on it?